Hi, I'm Khalil Brown from the Hyper Division and the Animal Nutritionist in the field. We're here at Mr. Henry's farm and we're about to talk about animal husbandry and preventative health management. Before I intend to go out rearing, we have to think about the key practices that we need to ensure that we have a sustainable operation at the same time protect our investments. So first, let us talk about how is it that we as farmers enter into the realm of raising goats. Mr. Henry is a new entrant and he reached out to the Hyper Division asking us to guide him on development plan for his farm. So one of the key features that we're looking to is definitely your housing, your feeding programs, but most importantly, is housing that we're going to take care of these animals. So animal husbandry and preventative management allows you as a farmer to save as much as possible. Let us first go into our routine of what I would advise most farmers to do when managing a goat herd. What is important is both your safety and the animal's safety. So I recommend that all our farmers, we purchase the right PPEs, which is our protective personal equipment. So don't forget your coveralls, your gloves, your mask, and your plastic boots to protect your farm. Biosecurity is very important. Biosecurity meaning we're protecting all external influences from affecting our farm. My first advice to farmers as we wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that we should do? You should head inside your pens and start to do what I call our daily observation. Ensure that we look at each animal. They should be active. They should be alert. Then we want to go through and do our field checks. I normally go and check the animal if they have lice or if they have ticks. I will check the hoofs for any hoof problems. I'll check the teeth in case they are changing teeth or even just to estimate the animal age. These are some key daily observations I hope farmers you will look into on a daily basis to ensure that we have proper management. An important activity that our farmers should do on a routine is our hoof trimming. Why hoof trimming is important is that we want animals with good feet and good stance. For reproductive purposes, animals with good footing are known to be more productive. Also, in cases where you have areas where you might have moist conditions, hoof rot might be a problem. So we want to always be checking hoops to ensure that we don't have these problems on our farms. I'm Hort Henry, the managing director, owner and operator of Henry's farm. Before we got started into goats, we started off with layers. We tried to diversify the operation of the farm with layers and broilers. Um, as we grew more in the market and the farm started to develop from 2010, we started to make an entry into the goat industry in 2019. I got some information online through, through some research through Google in terms of the different breeds, the natives that we have here, the Nubians, which are predominantly milk goats, and the boars, which are predominantly meat goats. Uh, just getting in it, not knowing much about hoof trimming, or nutrition, the practices of deworming, checking if the animals need to be dewormed. Khalil, he gave me a lot of assistance as it relates to nutrition. He also put me on to Dr. Matthew and Dr. McCullough, who came out on the farm during their work time to help educate me more on breed, the different breeds, um, different stuff in terms of the, the coughing of the goats or any illness, certain antibiotics you need to have on hand. Some of the other challenges that we had throughout the kidding season was the mothers. You have some mothers who would give you like three kids or two kids but they're not producing enough milk or the, the body condition based on the stress of feeding has deteriorated to the point where it's more, they're going more into a survival mode. So they, they're not feeding as well and because of that you have lower developing kids or kids who die from, from malnutrition. So we learned that we have to either milk the mother to get out the milk and then bottle feed the kids or we, we purchase milk replacer and bottle feed them as well. The Hyper team is committed to drive the small ruminant sector forward and with that we come with a comprehensive small ruminant program for our farmers. We focus on animal nutrition, we focus on animal husbandry and management and we also do animal health. The animal nutrition small ruminant program looks to drive the small ruminant sector to more a total mixed ration program. And for our breeding and genetics program, Dr. McHugh leads our team with artificial insemination and embryo transfer. We plan to improve the local genetics and also increase productivity through genetics and nutrition as a comprehensive package for our small ruminant farmers. So thank you for joining us as we take a deeper look into animal husbandry and management.